answer me and in thy righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has smitten my life down to the ground. 
He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. But I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse over the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty man. Say, May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. back to that sixth verse. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty man. Say, I'm going to speak to you in just a little while from the subject, Precious Lord, take my hand. Precious Lord, Take my hand. Yes. We all have needs. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. There are things that we need the Lord to do for us in order to make this Christian <laughs> journey. The psalmist here is expressing what he needs from the Lord. But the key words in these scriptures is the word my. Notice how many times that word is there. Hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplications. The enemy persecuted my soul. My heart within me is desolate. I stretch forth my hand. My is a possessive verb. It suggests ownership. My. Somebody say my. My. Another way to say my is me. Somebody say me. It's me. Oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not, not my mama, not, not my daddy. Me. Somebody say it's me. We need the Lord to do some of my things. First, order my steps. Order, order, order my steps. It's, it's, it's my life. I need you to direct my path. Okay. Amen. And sometimes we can focus on the next person's path more than the my path. Amen. But what it is all about is it's all about your path. Come on, somebody. If, if, if you know my path better than you know your own path, then something is wrong. I need you to order my steps. Because because, Lord, I ain't perfect. I don't get this thing right. Can I get a witness? I, I need you to order my steps. There's some things that pop up. There's some things that happen. Come on, somebody. So I need you to order my steps, Lord, because I want to make my journey. I want to make this journey. I want to be all that you would have me to be. So I need you to order my steps. I just put your hand on yourself and said, my. My contact said, it's the man in the mirror. It's the me in the mirror. Can I get a witness? So not only order my steps, I need you to wash my heart. Come on. My heart is deceitfully wicked. Yes, it is. So my heart, imagine some things that are not of God. Can I get a witness? But I need you to wash my heart. There's no use to say, like, Lord, just wash them. Oh, they did they, they heart so this and they heart so that. Lord, just please wash them. Amen. And you walking around with an unclean heart. That's right. That's right. Wash my heart. Preach, preach. How about uh, renew my mind? That's right. Hey. I 
I need your strength. I need your direction. Amen. I need you to renew my mind because the devil is really after yes, your mind. Because yeah. yes, if you get your thinking, then he can control everything else about you. Can I get a witness? And so you need to humbly come from the Lord and say, you know, Lord, my mind ain't all that it should be. So I need you to renew it daily. Amen. Because daily some stuff happens. Amen. And, and I need you to renew my mind because my mind can get bad. Anybody know about the bad mind? Because the bad mind makes bad thinking. And bad thinking makes bad actions. Amen. Come on, somebody. So I need you to renew my mind. Help me. And that's sometimes, like David said here, sometimes it's for the sake of my enemies. Can I get a witness? Because I can act. If you don't renew my mind, can I get a witness? Then I can go back to some stuff. And I don't want to go back to no stuff. So I need you to renew my mind. The enemy is just, he's, 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 he's picking at it. Come on, somebody. He's picking at it. He's trying to chip away the things God that you have put in my mind. Can I get a witness? Because he'll keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. But the enemy wants to steal your joy and take your peace. Amen. So you need him to renew your mind. Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty and I 
after you. Mm -hmm. I need you more yeah. and more. Yeah. Anybody ever been like that? Oh, yeah. Somebody might be like that right now. Somebody right now might be in a stretching forth thy hand season. Amen. And one thing I love about the Father is that when you stretch forth your hand toward him, he will stretch forth his hand toward you. You see, the size of our prayers, the size of your prayers will depend upon the size of your God. And I don't know about you, but I serve a big God. He's able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that I can ask or think according to the power, the faith that rests in me. I've often heard people say that they don't want to bother God with the little things of their life. But sometimes a baby needs the father Sometimes it could be sometimes what you think is just so small. All right, all right. Just wants his body. Mm -hmm. Or maybe wants to be changed. All right, all right. Or sometimes just wants to be held. Amen. 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 And some people say, well, don't bother God with the little things. Mm -hmm. But I suppose that means that they won't bother him with most things in their lives. Ah. Since life is largely made up of little things. Little things. Come on, man. Is it really whether God is too big and too busy to hear our aches and pains? The real question is whether He cares at all. And if He does, will He do anything about it? Since He is a loving Father, nothing is too incidental for Him. God knows. And God cares. So once again here, the psalmist David is in a crisis. You, you, you ever been in a crisis? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> he is persecuted, it says that, right there in verses 3 and 4. He, he is crushed in death's darkness. He's overwhelmed. He is distressed and he is thirsty for God his spirit fails in verse 7 in verse 9 he's hounded by enemies and he cries out for deliverance in verses 11 and 12 it tells us that his soul is in trouble and afflicted and so in the context of all of this catastrophe how should he pray the answer is that since he has a big God, yes. he prays big prayers. All right. All right. He is no outsider simply asking for the strength to endure. He is God's man. Amen. And he wants God to act on his behalf. He wants answers. He wants deliverance. He wants revival. And he wants God to bring his soul out of trouble and deal with his enemies. And it is included primarily because David felt he needed to confess sins, watch this, that he, that he felt was keeping him from enjoying God's help and God's blessings. Sometimes it's your lifestyle that's blocking you from receiving God's blessings. Come on, somebody. It might be enemies. Enemies might very well be real. But sometimes it's your own stuff. It's your own sinful nature that's blocking God's blessings in your life. And you asking God to take care of your enemies, and sometimes your enemies is inner me. Let me just say it like this. Sometimes your issue, you know, you got issue. Sometimes your issue, issue.
from the attacks of the enemy was actually God's chastisement. Yeah. So he asked God for mercy. Mercy. Precious Lord. Take my hand. Lord, I've been trying to hold on to my faith. Amen. 
Well, I've been trying to grow and move away from the old me. But it seems that the more I try, the more things come up. Sometimes the more people, places, and things try to draw me back. So, Lord, I need you to understand what I'm going through, God. And, and instead of taking matters into your own hands, learn how to tell God your situation. Because we get in trouble when we try to take it into our own hands. Come on, somebody. When the very thing that you are not asking God to remove, come on, or, or the very thing that you're fighting yourself to remove might be the very thing that God is using to actually bless you. You missed it. So answer me, tell God your situation. Hear me, and then answer me. After you tell God your situation, then listen for God. Listen for God. Don't tell God your situation. And then you just go forth and just try to do it yourself. Are you with me? Be still. And know that he's God. I wish I had a witness that know he is God. I wish I had somebody here that just know he is God. And above him there is no other. I wish I had somebody here that knew he is a weight maker and a mind regulator and a heart fixer and a burden bearer and a heavy load. I wish I had somebody here that know what he is. And I worship you because of who you are. Can I get a witness? I worship you because I've already seen what you can do. Although David was God's servant and was a man after God's heart, God allowed David to be pushed to the brink where he despaired of life itself. Same thing he did for Job. Pushed him to the brink where he thought that maybe he was even Losing his mind. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody been there? Am I the only one that? I've been there now. Am I the only one who just had to sit up mm -hmm. on the side of the bed oh, God. late in the midnight hour? Mm -hmm. Put your little light on and sit on the nightstand and just have your little Bible in your hand. Amen. Yes, Maybe even a Bible in one hand. Philistines, 
with a with a jawbone of a donkey. This is what he's really saying when he says that the enemy has persecuted my soul and he has crushed my life to the ground. David was saying, in the midst of all my battles with my enemies, I'm trying to remain a man of God's own heart. I'm trying to live the way you want me to live. Come on, somebody. So I'm not taking things into my own hands. I'm trying to be meek, but meek don't mean Amen. Jesus said it like this. You ain't taking my life. I'm laying it down. Come on, somebody. You're troubling me the way you're troubling me is because I'm trying to do the right thing. I could revert back, come on, somebody, to the old day. But Lord, if you allow it, then I guess I can bear. Because you said you don't put more on me than I can bear. But Lord, right now, it's getting kind of critical. So I need you to take my... He said, my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart is appalled within me. This word that God does not exempt any of us from trials is especially needed now because of the popular but false health and wealth type teaching. Like you just name it and claim it. Like you ain't gonna have no troubles, just come to the Lord. The folks ain't gonna be picking on you. And you know what? Let me tell you something. Your anointing and your assignment attracts attacks. The reason why you are going through all of the things you're going through is because of the anointing that's on your life, David. Did you ever look at it that way? That was, the devil is not going to leave you alone because the Lord is using the devil to push you to your destiny. You don't want to go to the cross because of the pain associated with it. Can I get a witness? But you can't get the crown unless you get the cross. But here's the good thing. Before Good Friday, before Good Friday, before crucifixion, resurrection actually came before crucifixion. Uh -oh, right now. All right. What are you talking about, preacher? Come on, Come on Murray. It, 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 it was three days later. It was like he rose. Ha, 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 ha. God's word over your life is what's carrying you right now. Come on, somebody. And God's word said, I'm going to call you and I'm going to strengthen you for the journey. You will make it. He said, I ain't saying that every day going to be Sunday. I ain't saying that everything's going to be all right. But you will make it. Let the enemy crucify you. Can I get a witness? Because resurrection counts before crucifixion. You're talking crazy now. What are you, what are you saying? Come on, somebody. Jesus already knew. Can I get a witness? That he was sent here to be crucified to be buried and to be risen on the third day. Right, right. Amen? Amen? This is why the enemy tries so hard even to the last minute to try to get Jesus to come down from the cross. Because right. had he come down, you wouldn't be saved today. Had he come down, you wouldn't be healed today. Had he come down, you wouldn't have peace today. Had he come down, you wouldn't have a word today that can say, because he lives, I can face them all. Because he lived, all fears is gone. Had he come down. So the reason why you're going through, amen, because God already knows that he's going to lift you up. And come on, somebody. And you can't draw people to him unless you first be lifted up. Because he wants to get the credit for everything that happens in your life. So he has allowed you to die.
but that ain't the end of your story. He has allowed you to go through, but that ain't the end of your story. Can I get a witness? He will take your hand and he'll lead you on. I wish I had somebody that say, I'm here right now because of the word that's spoken over my life. And I'm sorry, but you can't do nothing about it. You can talk about me. You can set traps for me. You can call me everything but a child of God. But you can't stop what God has ordained over my life. So I ain't going to let you worry me, amen. I got a Makula Matata state of mind right now. It's all well with my soul. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Come on, somebody. He gives, but the Lord is still blessed. I have death, come on somebody, but the Lord is still good. I ain't worried about it, because when God gets through with me, I said, but I ain't gonna wait until my battle's over. Come on somebody. The weapons of my warfare ain't coming. You know how I get to the enemy? With prayer and praise. Come on, somebody. He wants to see you down, angry, that mind all messed up. But I praise him in the midst of all that. Because he's an all that kind of God. I wish I had somebody here that knew that he's an all that kind of God. And you confuse the enemy when you can praise him in the midst of persecution. You make the enemy confused when you can praise him Come on, somebody, because when it's all over, when it's all over, when it's all over, he's watching over me, and when it's all over, he's guiding me every day, and when it's all over. As I close, David does not just cry out for God save him from his enemies. He also cries out for God himself. Ah. He cries out for God. Yeah. He meditated on God's doings and on the works, the previous works of his hand. He thought about how God has delivered his people. He meditated on God's work in creation. And that displays God's power and his infinite understanding. He wanted to know God and God's ways more deeply. He stretched out his hand to the Lord as a little child reaches for his parents. He wanted that intimate contact. He adds, my soul longs for you. As a dry land. He asks God not to hide his face from him. He wants to hear God's loving kindness in the morning. He lifts up his soul to God. He takes refuge in God himself. He prays for God to revive him. Take it, my hand, precious Lord. Lead me on. Yeah. Well, Bishop, we just might as well have church. We just <laughs> might as well have church like preachers now. Yeah. And let me uh -huh. stay. Right. I'm tired. Get to 
the one who has all power in his hand. If I can just get to the one who was wounded for my transgressions, if, if I can just get to the one who was bruised for my iniquities, I just wish I had somebody who don't mind saying, Lord, take my hand. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's not my mama, not my father. It's not my boss on the job. It's not even my pastor. But it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, the enemy is troubling on every side. Every time I turn around, the enemy is messing with me. But God, I need you right now. And how many know that he will show up? I wish I had somebody that know he'll show up late in the midnight hour. But all hell breaking loose. God will show up. And when he show up, he'll fight for battles. When he show up, he'll defend me. When he shows up, he'll speak on my behalf. I got a God that has all power. I got a God that knows how to handle every situation. Call him, he hears me. Telling you in this, take my hand. Take, take, take my hand. Here I am, my daddy. Take my hand. I feel messed up, but take my hand. I feel like giving up, but take my hand. I feel like acting up, but take my hand. Thank you. 